kill count where we tally up all the victims in all our favorite horror media. I am Potter Jack O'Brien, and today we are looking at And Then There Was Sean. And Then There Was Sean is an episode of Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World is a TV show that was on back in the 90s. It's a show about this boy named Corey who goes through life trying to figure out what the world has for him. He goes through life with his best friend Sean and his girlfriend, eventual wife, Topanga. In this episode, Topanga, Sean, Corey, and their friend Angela all find themselves in a scary situation. When kills happen, they have to figure out who's behind it all. That's right, I said kills! Let's see how many there are and get to them. Uh, how much these people are supposed to be friends because it's confusing during this episode. There are moments where you are like, are you sure they're friends? Because they are sure turning on each other. Just wait. You'll see what I mean. For that opening, Sean gets into the glass room where he finds himself having to sit in between Corey and Topanga. He says he's not in between them in the relationship. He's just going to sit there. He then immediately proves that he's lying as he goes off as a student named Kenny who asks to borrow a pencil and just watch. Hey, you so naughty! Fun fact, that cuss word actually was not originally shown on TV. Then when Disney Channel bought ABC, they brought back that original cut. And I just love re-watching that scene over and over again. And as soon as he says that word, I say to myself, Fafina! Fina! Fafina! Fina! Ooh, that was a new one. Some back and forth, which I love. Security then ensues when Feeney leaves the room, and then Sean tries to leave shortly after. And I want you to watch this scene and laugh. Just laugh at the joke that Corey makes. It's too funny for you to deny. This is attention, people. That means no talking. Or will you just repeat the same old one? Let's flip a coin. Heads or yes? Tails for? thing. At least Sean understands that. Oh my god. Feeney is dead. Or does he? Let's see. It's my What 
I got, um, Virgins are safe, so Cory and Topanga are safe. Eric's good as dead, so is Jack. Um, Sean seems to be safe. Wait, didn't Angela just say that Feeny's dead? Feeny! <laughs> Feeny! Because your guesses are all over the place. I'm kidding. I respect him. He's a great YouTuber slash TikToker. Go check out his videos on TikTok. He's Karpuk Aoki. On YouTube, he is either Kar at Karpuk Aoki or Kyle. Just Kyle. So go check him out. Have fun. Enjoy his vid. Yo, because they're fun. I just like to sh have him out because he said that I had the permission to do that. And by the way, if he's watching this, remember to make that review video on this. Because it will be a fun review. And I'm looking forward to hear your thoughts on my video. They all agree that uh, Feffy is not killer material. Then they s introduce themselves to Feffy just in time for a get this scream reference, but not just one, two in the same one. They get a call from the killer and Killer says, well, just watch. It's funny. And then, after he asks the question, which is an obvious reference, Jack's answer is another reference. So, enjoy this. Guess what? The killer is there! You don't believe me? Just watch this. Killer then shoves some books on Feffy, which obviously, who didn't think about killing Jennifer Love Hewitt like that? Then Eric rushes to her side because, yeah, they made out once. Okay, whatever. And then the killer finishes them off with a couple more books. I mean, I love this kill, so... Why shouldn't you? Jack then reacts like any rational person would when he finds out that Eric is dead. 
he realizes that he won't be able to pay the rent, which means he won't be able oh, to live in his apartment anymore. So he runs to the window you know, to commit suicide. Reminds Jack of her bro of his brother, and yeah. But then it's too late as the killer shoves them both down. Most shocking reveal ever! It's more shocking than Taylor than Tyler Posey being revealed as the hawk on Masked Singer. Oh my goodness! I'm still shocked at this. You see what I mean in a sec. then apologizes to everyone for how he behaved after realizing it was all a dream? What? No way! Okay, when I realized that Sean was the killer, I knew it was a dream the whole time. Because, well, there can't be two Sean's, right? That was a fun video, wasn't it, Coda? Mm-hmm. Okay, so thanks to my sister Coco for being the person wearing the mask, killing me in that to the numbers bit, and my cat Crooklyn for insisting herself to be in that little bit to be revealed as the actual killer. Okay, Crooklyn's getting a little squeamish. Okay. Coco, you got anything you want to say? Eat happy and die. <laughs> hey, you want to say the thing? Uh, Until next time. Pick up people. Do next time. Pick up people. And I don't. Okay. Eat happy and die. Be good people.